Hi, my name is Parson Mohebi from Parson Mohebi Hair Restoration. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about beard to scalp hair transplant. So basically, uh, beard to scalp hair transplant is a great uh, hair transplant technique for people who don't have sufficient uh, scalp hair to be transplanted. And it's good for many people who have average or more than average of beard hair. Beard to scalp hair transplantation is when we don't have enough scalp hair to remove from the back of the head or back and sides, which we call uh, uh, donor zone. We don't have enough hair to remove from back and put it on the balding area. So we have to get access to the other areas, including beard, which is the next best uh, hair follicle in terms of quality after the scalp hair. Best candidates for beard to scalp hair transplant are people who are having a good supply of beard. So uh, some people uh, naturally don't have enough beard or the density is lower uh, or it's very limited to certain areas. But people who have average or more than average beard, they usually good candidate. Well, we usually don't use beard as a first choice for uh, restoring the ha scalp hair, hair. We use beard as a second option. So when we pe people come to us with class six or seven of hair loss, when they have a big area of baldness and just a rim of hair around the scalp, we use that rim to restore a certain area of the scalp and the remaining of the scalp could be done with the beard. So the advantage is that people who have the beard, they can expect more coverage for bigger areas of uh, hair loss. When we want to use beard as a donor area, uh, we need to have patients shaved two day, two day before procedure. I repeat this. For beard to scalp hair transplant, we ask patients to shave beard two days before procedure. We want it to be a razor shave two days before because there are certain number of hairs that are in resting phase only 80%, 85% of the beard hair are in growth phase. So the ones that are in growth phase, they grow a little bit. So we see like one millimeter growth for two days. And then we know who, which one to go after. We don't want to go after the hair that are in resting phase. The risks of uh, beard to scalp hair transplant are very limited. The, uh, the healing is very quick and uh, there's no scarring to be seen in most patients. Occasionally when we remove beard from the cheek area, there might be some depressed scarring. Most of the time we are suf sufficiently having enough hair on the jawline and below. So we're talking about below chin and neck area. That gives us plenty of hair, usually two to 3,000 grafts in a person who has uh, average or more than average of uh, beard hair. We have a lot of information about this on our website, parsamohebi.com. I invite you to uh, visit the website. If you have any question, you can, you can put it right here in the comment section and we make sure to get back to you as soon as we can.